Sneaker Alerts back again today. Today we have Trisquel 6. Trisquel, yeah, Trisquel, yeah. The free one. Now, we know we all like free, don't we? We like free stuff, free beer, free money, free stuff, free air. Well, this is not so much free, free like that free, although it is free, but it's free as in mind, body, and soul, which means there's no proprietary stuff in it whatsoever, even though it's based on uh, Ubuntu Precise, okay? So that's based on 12.04. But if all the nasty bits taken out, for the old Gestapo, the FSF. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, quickly go through it with you. It runs really nice. It runs a sort of GNOME 3 fallbacky sort of thing, right? But, unfortunately, there's a few problems once you update it, but I might come to that a bit later, but I might just let you get on with it and see what happens. Anyway, down the bottom here, we have show the desktops and hide the windows and desktops. We have our time and date. We have our sound. We have our network connections and our messages down here. Now, over here we have a browser, which is a browser. Yes, the unnamed browser called a browser, because it's just a browser, okay? And when you first boot up, these are the two tabs you get, okay? I have actually run it quite a few times, but I just thought I'd leave it on the same tabs that you would get when you first open it. So the first page is to scroll GNU Linux. It tells you all about it. If you want to join, do you want to donate, etc., etc. And the second tab is to scroll GNU Linux Run Free, which tells you more about it, okay? Now, this is the version we're using here, Trisquel 6.0 LTS. Now, it's being supported apparently till 2017, and they're going to actually concentrate on this more than they are on every six months release. So, you might only see this one for the time being in the future. So, yeah, nicey nicey. Now, say you want to download it, you can come to here anyway, which is at Trisquel.info, go to the download section. You get an option of the standard Trisquel, which is 700 megabytes, or 740, I think, actually. Comes with GNOME as your desktop, English and Spanish translations. Okay, that's fine. Or you can get the Mini at 500 megabytes, which is LXD desktop interface, English and Spanish again. But you do get a choice of 32-bit and 64-bit, so it's up to you. You pay your money, which is free, and takes your choice. Okay. Comes with its own little uh, stuff to say so you can watch YouTube and stuff like that. I'll come to that in a minute and we'll do all bits and bobs. So we'll get rid of that. See you later. Right, to the menu. Okay, oh sorry, file system here. It is installed by the way, it's not a live CD. Usual system here. All done. Okay. Open up the menu. Now, as you can see, it's like classic gnome, isn't it? Real classic. Back in time, back, back, back to a long time ago when some of you wasn't even born. So I just you, we get a browser, we get Uvolution. That's evolution for your mail and your calendar. Pigeon is standard, Wibber for your social chat, Lifera for your feed reader, Ryamina, Gnome PPP, 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 if you've only got a phone that is, pretty points of the internet though really sometimes if you've only got dial up, eh? And transmission for your BitTor clients. Office comes with the full LibreOffice suite, although I think you can get some add-ons for that, so that's nice. Under graphics, you just get a PDF viewer in Gimpage, I'm not going to open it. GTHUM image viewer and simple scans, so all your stuff should work, and your scanners and printers should work out the box anyway. Okay, you get a movie player, which should be M player, you get Brazero for burning your discage, OG convert, remember we're in the free formats here, so it's only going to convert to OG, okay? OG, your mate OG, all your videos done, OG, okay? So we'll quit that. Back to our menu, send a video again. Now I've actually installed OpenShot just to make sure it all worked correctly, and you know what? It does work, yeah. I've actually changed the background here as well. Remember, if you want the 3D or the animated titles, you're going to have to install a Blender as well, which you may have to add some libs for as well, okay? Next on the market, so, oh no, get PitTV as well for another video editor, but it's not everybody's cup of tea, really, that one. Not everybody likes it. Rhythmbox is your standard music player and your sound recorder. Come standard with GNOME. A few GNOME games, there's only four of them, and under accessories, of course, you get an archive manager, your calculator, I'll open it up while I'm here. And go put that in there. What else we've got here? A character map, help, on board, a keyboard, Okra screen reader, or all coast, say, Okra, that's a vegetable. Screenshots, search for files, terminal, and your text editor. Well, I'll get rid of the calculator now, can I? Yeah, go ahead, calculator. Bye. Anyway. We took it add and remove applications, which is like there's not an Ubuntu software center here, it's more the Debian version or the more minty minty Debian, should we call it? I've updated the system and it's all there, so you can actually install anything you want to. So I'll quickly do something while we're waiting. So we're just gonna type in every word because that's a nice quick one. And there it's found it for us. All you do is click the box. Yeah, we want to do that. We want to apply our changes. Yes, that's what we want. Apply. Once our password, so we quickly chop that in. 
and in a few seconds it should start downloading for us so we can get some stuff done. There we go. Five or three to one, it's almost there. We're downloaded. So that take that five seconds, no time at all. It should actually come with all the grammar checker and everything like that. So actually no problem at all. Installation is going to take another four or five seconds, if that, and then we're done. So that's all nice and quick and super duper. Well, that's based on Ubuntu, right? It's actually a stripped down base core, the Ubuntu core package, which is tiny, tiny, tiny. Hang on. What's been here? Okay. Close. It said something was low. Maybe I'm running out of stuff. I don't know. Okay, so we can close that. Oh, I was running out of disk space. Blimey. I didn't know. I used all that up. Okay, we'll ignore that. I'm sure didn't do that. So that's a little bugger there in the works there because I've got loads and loads of room. Okay. So I'll quickly go up to Office. There is Abby Word. We'll open it up for you. Looks okay. That's what it says on the tin. What version are we? We'll go to about Abby Word 292. So that's the most current version. Well, I used it the other day and it seems to have fixed its little bugs that it did have. Okay. So yeah, super duper. What else we got there? You get system settings, of course. Don't forget that. There's plenty in there. It's just basic. I'll open it up for you. You can have a quick look. There you go. No image, as you can see, it's all there for you to use. I don't think it gets synaptic here as standard anyway. Okay, so I click on the system motor. Let's check. Why not, indeedy? As you can see, it's not using hardly anything at all. That little message was just a little bug in the system, so I must report that. It's only using it at the moment, I've been using it for a little while now, 158 megs of RAM and no swap. Yeah, no swap whatsoever. Hmm. Didn't give me much swap at all, though, did it? No. Anyway. Triscrell 6, free free, as in free as in mind, body and soul, is out now for you to download and use 32 and 64 bit. It's nice, clean, I hope that bug doesn't persist though. What am I going to give it? Well, I really like it. It's got to be a 90, sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.